everybody! It's me again! The main character of The Binding of Isaac. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Using the Binding of Northern Lion mod uh, that I have found pervade from the internet, courtesy of Reddit user Elucidator. We're gonna random here. This is, now we're gonna play as Kane again, I guess. That's totally fine. I like playing as Kane. Uh, I like how I look in this sweet ass eye patch. You know what? Okay, you know, Kane's a good guy. We're gonna we're gonna leave it up to the gods, uh, the RN Jesus, if you will, the random number generator Jesus. If there is a penny in one of these poops, I'll keep playing. If not, I'm gonna switch to Judas so I can see myself in that sweet fez. All right, well, we're gonna play as Judas then, so we'll exit the main menu. I apologize for getting you kickstarted there the wrong way. There we go. You know what'd be great? Can we, Weird Al Yankovic? Are you listening? I know it's like 30 years too late, but Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue, you know, this fedora looks bitchin' by the way. You know, oh yeah, Kickstart My Heart, something, something, yeah, that song. Uh, make that, but make it, uh, Kickstart My Fart, and it can be about, like, Taco Bell or something, because I know, you know, flatulence is a pretty important theme in the kind of work that you do. I'm not being derisive, it's a pretty important theme in the work that I do as well, quite clearly, because I'm talking about it as we speak, on the clock. But anyway, oh yeah, Kickstart My Fart. You know, the beans just rock. Oh yeah, smelly. That's what I'm thinking. We'll take Squeezy right off the bat. It's not really smelly. Uh, my face is covered in blood. That's a little frightening. What does Squeezy do to- Oh my god! That's what Squeezy does to us. Okay. So it didn't really break my face. It does make me look a little funky. My eyes are like popping out of my glasses now. Uh, apparently, is Squeezy just a shot speed upgrade? Don't lie to me, chat. Uh, Either way, I'm happy to get the Spirit Hearts, and I'm very happy to get Poison Touch, which just happens every single time. You could also do a song, you know, that song, The Touch, You Got The Touch, You Got The Power, from the 80s. Apparently this is gonna be Weird Al Yankovic's, like, 80s retro album. Because I'm his manager, I make all his content and creative decisions. Um, you just make that, but make it about Poison Touch, and it could be like, You Got The Touch, You Got The Poison, and then it's about killing Blue Baby by totally scamming him. Anyway, what the fuck am I talking about? Thanks a lot for the support on the videos, uh of the Northern Lion mod so far. I feel kind of like a piece of shit, basically, because, like, I didn't make the mod, but here I am, like, reaping the sweet benefits of playing it, but, you know, it was a, a fan creation, and I think, uh, hopefully they're getting what they want out of it as well. Uh, it's not like you can sell it. Actually, you know, I, I shouldn't be putting words in Edmund's mouth, but it seems like he's the kind of guy who'd be like, you know, I would prefer you didn't sell it, but at the same time, you know, thanks for supporting the game and making it uh, even more playable than it already is. Let's move on, though. He actually posted a comment on Reddit, because uh, the first video of this went up uh, a couple days ago. And he's like, you know, thanks, you really made my day. And I was like, fuck, man. I should be thanking you. You really made my day. This is awesome to finally play this game that I've invested so much time in as myself. So, Elucidator, if you're listening, and, you know, not to sound egotistical, but you probably are, if you're still enjoying this kind of showcase of your mod, thanks a ton. This is like, it's refreshed the game yet again for me to put myself through, like, these awful situations. Not, like, not playing the game. Playing the game is not awful. But watching my face get contorted and my eyes pop out of my skull like that lady from the short-lived Guinness Book of World Records television show uh, is, is a little bit terrifying. But, you know, it's probably more terrifying if I was, like, my own parent or something like that. And I'd be like, whoa, what are you doing to my son? In any case, apparently there's a user-created, like, Northern Lion Spelunky mod I'm going to check out later today as well. In which case, you know, that can be my new thing on the channel. I'll just exclusively play games uh, where it, in my own face has been uh, implanted. Because it, I should just start sending out review requests like that. Like, is my face going to be in Grand Theft Auto V? Well then, I'm sorry, 2K Games, but I can't play it. No, no, no matter how much you beg, I will not just post the ending to Grand Theft Auto V online. Uh, we'll take this HP upgrade. That didn't really change us. I've eaten dog food before. It's not that bad. Ooh, we could get real interesting here. It's not worth it. As, as fun as it would be to take Horror of Babylon in this situation and turn uh, myself into an enormous demon, it's not really a good idea. Here's the thing with Horror of Babylon, you know, I don't, I can't replenish my spirit hearts. That's pretty bad, uh, if you're relying on not having any red hearts. So if we pick up red hearts, which I would obviously want to do... Alright, thank god that wasn't a golden chest. Oh, okay, well, we got the matchstick too little too late. Too spooky, etc, etc. Um, I find myself in a bad position here. I'm not gonna be able to go to the item room in all likelihood, unless we get a key drop at the end of this. Uh, there are some tinted rocks. I won't be able to access... Well, there's one tinted rock. I won't be able to access it, though. If only we'd gotten Matchstick earlier, we could have gotten a bomb, or at least had a higher percentage chance of having a bomb drop. Uh, but as is right now, there's not a whole lot we can do. I could go to the, uh, mo not, sorry, not Mob Trap Room. I can go to the weird self-sacrifice room, which I don't think is very good at all. Apart from that, I guess we just have to leave. And I'm lucky that I'm not in a terrible position, 
Uh, Guppy's tail could be interesting as well, but we have no keys right now, so I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, so I guess we'll just leave, and that's a really shitty way to kind of end that, uh, first series of floors. That being said, as Judas, you know, we have a lot of health now, our tiers are a little bit faster, we're starting to get bombs, we're a little bit stronger. Uh, I don't think we're in a terrible position by any stretch of the imagination. Keep in mind that, you know, we missed out on, what, one item there? We can just rationalize that away. Uh, and say that, you know, that probably would have been a spacebar item that I wouldn't have wanted anyway. Like, the average item room isn't worth one item. It's probably worth, like, well, as as Isaac, it might be worth closer to one item. But as, like, a, a character without a reroll, uh, the average item room is probably worth, like, 0 0.4 items or, like, 0 0.7 items or something like that. Because you can't always pick it up if you already have a better spacebar item. Uh, so we, we didn't miss one item room. We missed 0 0.7 item rooms, in my opinion. Uh, now that we have some health, we can play this, uh, or now that we didn't give away our health, we can play this Demon Judgment a little bit. Uh, I don't expect him to necessarily pay out, it's not like we have an enormous stock of health to draw from, uh, but if he does pay out, basically free deal with the Devil item. Not necessarily 100% free, but we didn't, uh, have to give up our, our health, or our permanent health for it. Health capacity. I like health capacity more than heart containers, I gotta admit. Mostly because I'm really worried that Nintendo's gonna sue me for these videos for saying heart containers when that is obviously a term exclusively reserved for Zelda and other Nintendo properties. Uh, we're gonna just move around here, and again, this should be a pretty easy fight. That was terrible damage. Uh, I don't really care about getting a deal with the devil here, because unless it's Mom's Knife, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna take it, uh, specifically because I'm not gonna get a health upgrade after this fight, unless he drops, like, an Eternal Heart as a consumable or something like that. It's just very unlikely that um, we'd be able to make good use of a deal with the devil without actually killing ourselves. So, I think it's in our best interest to just kind of, you know, go to town here, get the cube of meats. If it was a deal with the angel, I'd be psyched on that. I did pass up a deal with the devil. That gives you a higher deal with the angel uh, probability, if I remember correctly. Hey, well, <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. That is dead dub. It's an awesome item. It's basically like the uh, light side spirit of the night. We'll also take our orbital. That is super cool. We still have no keys, but we are back up to, uh, you know, full red heart capacity here. So if I just uh, play this guy a little bit more, hopefully we'll be able to get some good stuff here. Really, just like a, a key or two would be awesome, but a deal with the devil item could be amazing as well. Hopefully we still have a little bit of floor left to get through here. Uh, there's probably a secret room that I can get to. Uh, I have enough bombs is basically what I'm saying there. Uh, you know what? I was really worried that I was going to take damage there, so I think that that was actually an okay use of the death card. Can't open that up, unfortunately. Please tell me I'm not skipping over any item rooms. Or I'm not going to have to skip over any item rooms. The really weird thing about how this run is going right now... Oh, that was awful damage. But the really weird thing about how this run is going right now is that it's actually, like, even if I end up having to skip this next item room, it's still going pretty well. Like, I got Spirit of the Night, essentially, without having to give up any health on this floor. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to go to any item rooms. Uh, I, okay, I should look for the secret room. So we have four bombs. There's like maximum three possible locations. We didn't find it on the first one. I don't think it's going to be here. If it is here, though, we can bomb our way into the item room. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so we get a one-up. That's good news. I'm not going to not take that. I, I can't think of a good reason for that. I'm just going to see if I can get some more money here. Or maybe some kind of consumable drop. So the one-up is awesome. Please tell me there's like, uh, I don't even know, something that gives us an HP up plus full health so I can play a little bit more Demon Judgment. <laughs> Telepathy for dummies. Yeah, it's pretty much like exactly what I asked for verbatim, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we'll just shoot uh, this fire and then we'll be good to go. Might as well take Telepathy for dummies show it so it never shows up again because it's terrible. And uh, you know, we're still in a totally okay position, but obviously it could be better. I'm going to be a total idiot and I'm going to sacrifice uh, one more half spirit heart just to play this Demon Judgment in the hopes that he's the greatest ma One more full Spirit Heart. Oh my god, it worked. And we got homing bombs! Was that worth one Spirit Heart? And, you know, the five bombs could actually come way in handy. I, I thought he always paid out with a deal with the devil, but uh, apparently not. Um, the five bombs could come in handy, the homing bombs, probably not an enormous deal, but I I'm glad at least I got some payout for it. I was already, you know, basically all in by at that point. Now we need to find some items that uh, make it so we don't die. You know, Red Heart consumables would obviously be awesome. Um, I think it's a tears upgrade, but, uh, I'm actually totally okay with, uh, rolling with the matchstick instead if we can get a lot of bombs. You know, keys have been a serious issue for us. I really can't afford to get hit on this room because, uh, these guys do one full heart. In fact, a lot of enemies in this floor do one full heart, and that would be really devastating because we're taking down half a red heart. Uh, um... Yeah, basically, I I'm like, I'm okay with the matchstick now because we can get a, a bombs or key pill at some point, potentially. 
getting a bombs or key pill would obviously solve all of our key problems. Maybe allow me to go to an item room legitimately for once instead of having to bomb my way in through the back door. Please let me out of here. Okay, that was really scary. Um, maybe I should use one of these homing bombs for an offensive purpose for once. A little bit more money. We haven't had like a single key drop this entire game, if I'm not mistaken. This is our fourth floor, and we have yet to had a key or yet to have a key just drop naturally. Uh, which, you know, you don't need me to tell you, that's incredibly disappointing. Don't get yourself backed into a corner here. Um, it's worth noting that I, I should be able to just kind of hang out over top of these chasms, and uh, assuming I actually am directly over the hole, that was uh, either golf or intercourse, depending on how you want to take that uh, double entendre. Uh, but as long as I'm right over the hole, they shouldn't be able to hit me, and uh, I should be able to kill them as well with my uh, shots as well as my orbital. Single cube of meat. That's good! Okay, obviously I do want to play that blood bank, but we probably shouldn't get too cocky about it just yet. Um, the fact that we are obviously using uh, Spectral Tears here is awesome. These guys are just going to slowly leap into my field of view. Oh my god, we got a key. Who did I have to blow to get that one? And we get Quad Shot out of it, which is actually totally awesome. Uh, my complaints happened uh, pretty quickly, and then were erased pretty quickly as well. So, obviously Mutant Spider, uh, great item. I believe it makes us fire a little bit less. It also lowers the damage on uh, each individual shot, but overall, certainly uh, a, a very, very good item. Please uh, explode. Good. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking a little weird. I, this is basically what I look like as a sperm, probably, is my... Uh, the way I'm going to choose to deal with this, this knowledge that I probably should not have. One time, I, it wasn't really a date, but I was in like 8th grade and I was going to a birthday party with this girl that I really liked. Obviously, you know, I was like 13, so my parents were driving me. And they told the story of my parents, by the way, love them very much, very cool people, and this was probably fucking hilarious to them, but it was mortifying to me. Told the story of how I was conceived in my mom's office. And you know, it might have been a joke, maybe they were just like taking the piss out of me, basically, but at the same time, I was like, Mom, please don't tell a story of you guys having intercourse and, and creating me. When this girl that I totally want to stick my little 13-year-old dingus in is, is right next to you. That was a gross story. I apologize for that. But this is the way I live my life, man. This is, you now know where my sense of humor comes from. I don't think they were joking either. Hey, there's a free guppy's tail. That's kind of terrible, honestly. <laughs> uh, we still, you know, are really suffering from a key perspective. So getting a guppy's tail is not necessarily going to alleviate that, obviously. Because we're going to get, like, exclusively golden chests now. Um, there's other stuff for us to do on this floor that I haven't touched on yet. I want to fight the boss before we get too crazy because, uh, you know, there is the uh, possibility that he's going to be a very difficult boss. It's Catacombs Part 2, so it could be something a little tricky. Quad Shot is obviously going to make that a little easier than your average boss fight, presumably. Uh, but then there's Blood Banks that we can play. You know, having Spectral Tears on this fight is actually a huge advantage. Uh, and the ability to fly, so, uh, and of course I just botched it, but... Probably won't be playing that Blood Bank if I had to guess, but we'll see what we get from our item rooms here. We could potentially earn a deal with the Angel as well, I guess. This run could be going a lot worse, but obviously it has some obvious shortcomings. Stem Cells is good, that's a health upgrade that we could desperately need. And, uh, the Bible, which I'm not even gonna pick up, cause, uh, I don't, I don't want it. It's not a, me being religious, that's, or anti-religion, it's just me being like, I don't, I don't want that at all. Um... So, I'm just trying to think about what to do here. I don't really want to play the Blood Bank too much, even though I desperately want those HP upgrades. What I'm doing here is just playing these guys in the hopes of getting more keys. Now, I, I've pretty much given up hope for going to the shop at any point in my uh, career, uh, and uh, I'm assuming that, you know, that's probably just gonna never work out for us, uh, simply due to our awful- Oh my god, that's the first time we've gotten a dollar in a long time. Remember what I said about uh, giving up on my dream of going to the shop? Never mind that anymore. Uh, this is okay. Please tell me we can get some keys so we can now go to the shop. I swear to God, that's the first time I've gotten a dollar in like 300 videos, basically. It took me a second to be like, what the heck is that item I've never seen before? So we're gonna do gamble a little bit here. It would be nice if we could win uh, for once. I love how I have the matchstick. I picked up literally zero bombs on this floor, by the way. Like, can you work with me just a little bit here? I might as well gamble just a little bit, just to work with this. Um, I do have the one-up, so I'm assuming we're going to get some red heart drops at some point. It'd be a sh I, I mean, I don't want the... Um, should be pretty obvious. I should have waited on that. I don't want the uh, money from the blood bank. That should be pretty obvious. But I do definitely want the uh, increased chance of getting the uh, speed upgrade. The blood bag. Speed plus HP upgrade. Please pay out. Work with me here. I, these red hearts would be amazing as well. Don't get me wrong. But a key would just put me over the moon right now. 
Red Art's totally cool as well. S seriously. Yeah, okay, that's pretty nice. In fact, that allows me to have uh, basically the freedom to probably bet like four more times on this. Uh, or three more times, sorry, three more times. Maybe that'll pay out eventually. Bloody Penny would be so useful right now. Uh, and we're going to keep going basically until we get you know more hearts, the HP upgrade, or some keys. I need something here to give me a little bit of, of hope in this world, basically. We're going... I mean, it hasn't been a, a crazy fast run so far. That's awesome. Uh, it hasn't been a crazy fast run so far, but it certainly hasn't been a slow one either. So we have two keys now. Uh, obviously, the more keys we get, the better. Um, this guy's probably going to pay out with Fly Love now, is my guess. We'll take the middle one. Oh, no, that's actually Fly Hate. Uh, I can't really justify spending too much more time here. What we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll go out and we'll uh, check out our shop now that we have two keys and 97 cents. We might even pop open that other golden chest that's available just because I'm going to be greedy. Uh, but, you know, getting a dollar is pretty nice. Kind of, I really just hope we don't fight greed. That's the one thing that is uh, on my mind right now. Uh, matchstick still probably pretty... Oh, of course! Well, you know, I got my wish. We weren't, we're not fighting greed. We're fighting super greed. I'm going to drop a, a little homing bomb in here just to catch with him a little bit. In fact, I almost want to use the second one because I'm really worried about taking damage. Like, I'm not in a position where I can really afford uh, to get hit at all, essentially. I also could use, like, a range upgrade. This, you'll never hear me say this, but a range upgrade plus lump of coal would really hit the spot right now. All right, that's a lot of money. Um, might as well only take two cents of it right now, I guess. Because why, uh, why take more? Just in case I do want to gamble for the next 45 minutes. Okay, and we picked up another bomb, which replenishes the one that we used. Um, I do still want to... I mean, here's the thing. We can talk about this because we're friends, but... If I was going for, like, a, if the only thing that mattered to me on this run was winning then I would obviously gamble as much as is possible. I would cancel my afternoon appointments. It would be a fun time. Uh, we'd sit here, we'd talk, we'd get to know each other a little bit better. But I can't uh, afford to do that because I have things to do today. And also, I think it's kind of boring watching people gamble. And that's not me saying, like, other people who, who do videos that take, like, two hours long are producing boring content. It's just content that I am not excited to make. So I think I'd just be here, like... <sighs> the whole time, and that, that's not fun for anybody. So I'll, I'll play this guy until I get down to 90 cents, and then we'll just stick with the lot that we've been given. Uh, we'll look for the secret room and, uh, you know, make our move down to the next floor, basically. Because I think, you know, we, we've made some okay things happen on this floor, sort of. Uh, hopefully we can continue to make some okay things happen on the next floor as well. Might as well look for the secret room. You never know, maybe we'll get a fetus in a jar or something like that. More keys is kind of the reason I'm here, though. And again, like a luck upgrade would be so good right now. I feel like I'm getting, like, once every ten, I win. But luckily, we did win those two keys at some point, so... Please just pay out, like, it's the only thing I want. That was the third key in a row I've lost! Okay, fourth key in a row. As long as he keeps pop popping up keys. Are you serious? Fourth key in a row I've lost. Here we go, key five. Is it in the same place every time? Alright, this is gonna be key six. Alright, I'm gonna go over here then. Oh my god, he paid out with two, two more keys, that was beautiful. I wonder if the, the red heart is the place to be now. Um, or if the right side is the place to be. I'm just going to explode this man. And, uh, he, well, I really wish that that bomb had blown up the uh, blood bank as well, because I want the, my health back. But um, I'm sure we'll do that as well. Might as well take the money. I guess there's no reason not to. And now we can open this golden chest and finally get off of this floor. Uh, now that we have some keys, I, I feel like we're in a better position. But obviously, you know, we're, we're still not one by any stretch of the imagination. It's more bombs. Um, I'm not happy trading keys for bombs in this... Ooh, I needed to get that hard. I'm not happy trading key, trading keys for bombs in this situation. Probably could have gotten this hard and then played the Blood Bank a little bit more. You know, I, again, this is not min-max play for sure. But I, I'm having a good time. That's uh, the most important thing to me. I can't believe, like, this run has been seriously awful for consumables. Both bombs and keys, which is why I'm holding the matchstick. Like, I'm hoping this is going to work out for us. Yeah, having pills as Kane is uh, a potentially enormous boost for us. Obviously, getting two keys just randomly on this uh, room is going to be amazing as well. I could have used these earlier, you know. Um, and I am going to use this pill just to see what it gives us right away. Another spirit heart. The pill is bad trip. Oh, we're not we're not Kane anymore. We're Judas. Oh, uh, well, it's not like that would have changed anything. I sh uh, it's probably the right decision to take the pill no matter what. Uh, at least we know that there is technically a full health pill in the rotation. Uh, obviously, the library is something that we should go to here. Just in case. I, I don't really want to take Book of Revelations. I like Book of Belial a lot more, but uh, our health kind of puts me in a tough situation with respect to that. Not like we can do anything with these anyway. 
Um, Monster Manuel gave me Robo Baby. It almost always gives me Attack Fly when I do that. So we're just gonna leave those items there. We can't really re-roll them, so let's move onwards. We do have this one up. That's starting to make me feel a little bit more comfortable about things. And, you know, we're not weak. That's the thing. We're, we're fairly strong. Quad Shot plus Flying is very nice. Uh, but we still need just a little bit more to put us over the top. And we could get that, you know, with Guppy's Tail plus, uh, you know, getting some more keys. Two remaining item rooms and shops, presumably. One of those shops might have greed in it, but still. Um, we can make some okay stuff happen, but uh, it's got to happen fairly quick. Like, it's not a, uh, a one game at this point, for sure. So I'm actually I'm, I'm very pleased, as always, that we have the flying item at this point. Makes my life a whole lot easier when I can just, you know, hang out over here. These things I didn't actually think would still shoot at me if they couldn't actually get path to me, but that's okay. Um, totally fine there. Please tell me we're coming up to some... Oh, this is perfect. So Judgment, I will play until the cows come home. I don't care if it takes me 94 cents to finish this off. Uh, I will be A-OK -okay with it. He's going to pay out with keys. He's going to pay out with better pills, hopefully. More keys is fine, too. Uh, you know, bombs and hopefully, uh, HP upgrade or some kind of killer damage item. I could actually even use that health right now, which is kind of a rarity. Uh, more keys. Judgment, you are the savior that I asked for and needed. That was probably, like, the best nine cents I've ever spent in my whole life. We got something along the lines of four keys, uh, as well as an HP upgrade and a little bit of, uh, red heart consum consumability. It's probably not a proper way to conjugate that. Gonna get some more bombs on the way out of here, and so far Necropolis 1 has been very good to me, and that is a sentence that I am almost positive that I will regret at some point in the near future. Obviously, I was gonna take damage there, but half a spirit heart to kill, like, nine spiders. There's worse deals out there. Um, now, you know, there's obviously a lot of bosses that could really ruin us here. HP upgrade from the golden chest is beautiful. Spoonbender combined with quad shot could be worse. Uh, I, I like it okay. I don't really like uh, Spoonbender, but A, and we're only fighting war. That is a godsend, honestly. Watch me die against him now, but no, we're, we're, we're fighting war, which is actually pretty nice Relative to other bosses that we could be fighting like, you know, Mask of Infamy or something like that And, you know, with Book of Belial, the quad shot, homing shots, we do a lot of damage to him Also, having the ability to fly basically means, with spectral shots, basically means I can just hang out over that rock We'll get a second level cube of meat, which is gonna be, uh, nice from a damage standpoint so far, everything's coming out of Millhouse on this floor, except for that awful, awful library. And of course, we're going to go to the shop, because if we can pick up a, a compass in this situation, then life is good. The Samsung slogan. People always get mad at me, like, um, they say, well, you pronounce Samsung? It's Samsung. I freaking lived in South Korea, where Samsung is like one of the biggest companies. I said Samsung, and they're like, no, no, no. Samsung. So I'm pronouncing it like the locals, and I, I gotta admit that it, you know, it does kind of frustrate me when people do that sometimes. They'll be like, oh, I was in Paris last week, and you're like, okay, shithead, like, I know you were just in France. When you're in France, you should say it like that, I guess, but, um, sorry, when you're in France, you should say it like that, but, uh, you know, this is North America. You say things North American way, but I'm the one who's getting made fun of for my pronunciation in this certain situation. Well, let's be honest. I'm the one making the mistake in this situation, so I can, I afford to be self-righteous about it. It all comes from a place... Oh, good. It all comes from a place of weakness anyway. Like, one time... There's the compass. Uh, one time I, uh... Well, there's a, a South Korean food called uh, kimbap, and it's basically like... Sushi, it's like seaweed and rice, and, uh, uh... Like a julienne carrots and, you know, pickled radish and stuff like that. Rolled up, it's kind of like a... They call it like a Korean sandwich, but it's not really. It's like sushi without fish in it most of the time. Usually has like beef or kimchi or egg, ham, etc, etc. Anyway, uh, I went there and my, my buddy was like, can you order me a, a tuna kimbap? And tuna in Korean is chamchi. I'm going down by the way here. I did get the, I did get the compass, right? I didn't just leave without buying that in my <laughs> indignation. Um, he's, yeah, so he's like, can you give me a tuna kimbap? Tuna's uh, pronounced chamchi. But I was like, the first week in Korea, that guy just dropped the key randomly, that's beautiful. So I went there and I was like, yeah, I'll have like one kimchi kimbap and then one chamchi kimbap. And then the the lady was like laughing her ass off. Obviously, like her English was not fantastic. I'm not saying that to be a shithead. Like my Korean was obviously terrible. That's the whole context of the story, the point of the story. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll have a chamchi kimbap. She started laughing her ass off. And then, you know, we went through a little bit of like a language barrier discussion. Then eventually figured out I wanted tuna. And uh, she gave it to me, and then I went back, and I, I told the story to my Korean boss, and she was like, you know, you know, she's very polite about it, but nah, mom's pad, seriously? She's like, chamchi in Korea is like, basically, vagina. <laughs> it's like, it's like akin to vagina, 
what like dick is to penis. So it's like I basically was like, can I have like some pussy kimbap? <laughs> Maybe not the most elegant order that I've ever placed, but that's not the worst story. Um, oh, let me just make my way over here first, so I don't die as I'm telling this one. One of my friends who's teaching in South Korea was at like some kind of like field trip or something uh, with the parents of the kids, and he he taught kindergarten. So you're talking about like five to six year old kids. Uh, I will take this pill for sure. Hey, that's pretty good, balls of steel. And uh, the one of the kids, I swear to God, asked him like. I'm, not, I'm just gonna make up his name, but John teacher, what's your favorite fish? And he said, you know, my favorite fish is Chamchi. And then the kid started to cry because he thought, or the kid thought like the teacher was just being really vulgar or like, I don't even know. But the, the parents got called over and like they had to, the, the foreign uh, kind of like, or the translator had to kind of mitigate it and be like, this dude was not like making a sexual comment to your daughter necessarily. I mean, he definitely wasn't, but uh, you know, misunderstandings like that. Life abroad, you know. What can you say? Uh, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna play the bejesus out of this blood bank. I'll probably get like really low. I'm fairly confident that we'll be able to get paid out here. I don't know why I'm collecting the money as if it actually matters. Those are the kind of stories you can look forward to if you know you choose to live uh, life as an English teacher in Korea for any length of time. It's not an experience I would necessarily not recommend. Just you know, open your mind, be easygoing, and it's pretty good. Also, don't smoke weed or they'll throw you in jail for life. That's the other thing. Um, not that I know from personal experience, of course. Let's go to the left here, and uh, we will destroy our bomb flies and start talking about the Binding of Isaac again. Apparently, you know, this is like a video game. This is not me. This is not Ryan's story hour about, uh, you know, life as a, an English teacher. Although, you know, I kind of like it as well. You know, the Isaac episodes have kind of become like the... Ah, uh, seriously? That's really bad. The Isaac episodes have kind of become like their own little vlog type show. So if I, you ever hear me like being like, wow, vloggers, that's really low effort entertainment. Just tell me to like suck a dick because basically... Uh, you know, I'm, I can't see my own flaws, but, uh, that was really terrible as well. Please give me so, I don't need more money at this point, game. I need more life. Wow, okay, we're gonna have map and compass, which is actually beautiful. But yeah, you know, I'm telling stor stories about my day. Hope you're relaying stories about yours in the comments. Much appreciated either way. Map plus compass is gonna be amazing, uh, even though I'm almost certainly gonna die pretty shortly. This one-up will, uh, activate, and then we'll start living our, uh, second life. Like Esteban, I can't believe I still got hit there. Uh, we'll fight our boss, and then obviously we're gonna have to get rid of the matchstick, which has been kind of interestingly bad for us for the most part. Anyway, we're fighting regular version of Mom. That should be easy enough. The fact that we can fly means I can uh, avoid these kind of critters a little bit easier. Notice I said critters, not creatures here, because I don't. I want to be a little bit derisive to these guys here. The critters is like a smaller version, right? Creature is like something you can. It's like a tiger, or, you know, Microsoft will make a video game about it in 2003 that'll be disappointing to most people. Um, the Critters is just like an insect or something you don't like. Is that right? I don't know. I'm not familiar that much with that vernacular. What am I even talking about? We got the Polaroid. We're still alive. We're going to go down to the next floor. Map plus compass plus Polaroid, poison touch. Not even going to go to that library because I think it's uh, not going to work out for me. Uh, the ability to fly, quad shot. Did we get, um, we never got any extra damage, but we, we did get a couple tiers upgrades, if I recall. So, on this floor, I would love to actually, uh, do the standard, like, late game trade, and be like, okay, I'll give you, uh, two heart containers. You give me the pact and, uh, two spirit hearts, and that's, that's a good deal in my mind. Now, the homing shots act really weirdly, the quad shot, actually. Like, they, they act as you might expect. But I'll be like running towards an enemy to hit them and the shots will just peel off in all different directions. Which is cool, you know, as long as it's still hitting enemies, I don't really care. Uh, and I guess, you know, the, to I'd properly test whether the second level cube of meat is better than third level cube of meat. I, I don't want a third level cube of meat like I normally would at this point. We're getting a lot of red heart containers, or red hearts, not containers. That would be pretty wild, but uh, sadly no such luck. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get out of here, I guess. It's pretty quick that, uh, these homing shots are actually working out really well for me. That red chest, also fantastic. Um, cool. Good, we're, we're fighting double Loki. I, to continue my train of thought in a more coherent fashion, the only reason I didn't want third level cube of meat is because I'm trying to grow an appreciation for second level cube of meat. We're destroying Loki here, by the way. Um, and I, I do appreciate it as a defensive item, uh, but not so much as an offensive item. So that's what I'm hoping to get, I guess. Oh. 
That was really close to me getting hit. It's another Balls of Steel pill, which is awesome. Obviously, we can't take that Trinket, but we can totally take this Tarot card. That could end up making an enormous difference. It's not, but Justice. Pretty good. It was a seriously like live bomb alley here. Not that we necessarily need more bombs. We had the Luck Foot and uh, nine lives. So, you know, we would have a chance to possibly become Guppy if I took... Um, Nine lives, but I don't want to. It's too risky at this point. Instead, we'll just make our way to our boss room here. Probably a smart idea for me to use one of my 23 bombs to, uh... Good, he's dead. I think these enemies, like, stick around for a minute after they, uh, disappear. Like, their hitbox sticks around for a minute, so, you know, I'm not a proud man. I'll abuse that. Please don't give us a curse of darkness in the late game. Here's how mad I am about that money being there. I'm not even gonna pick it up. How do you feel about that, video game? And uh, I'm looking at the layout here, and I'm like, you know, I'm probably not even going to use my Book of Belial to finish off uh, any other rooms on this floor, specifically because uh, I wonder if we can get an attack fly here. That would be very nice. I'm, with quad shot and homing shot, I can't really control what I hit, just the things get hit. Um, so it would be unlikely to kill the blue ones last, if that even conveys a bonus. But anyway, um, you know, e there should be enough rooms to get it recharged, but uh, you never want to risk maybe like a... Uh, one room just being like a golden chest or something like that. Although that would be awesome because we could possibly get an item. It could also fuck up our uh, Book of Belial usage for that room. So there's nothing of note here. Going up against Sloth. Uh, tempted to use Book of Belial here. But again, you know, our damage is strong enough that it's not uh, crazy important for us. And the only reason our damage is strong, by the way, is uh, quad shot and uh, our rate of fire is pretty high. Did we get a tears upgrade at any point beyond Squeezy on the first floor? I don't think so. Weird weirdly enough. Um... Might as well take this dude out, and we got another tarot card, the Lovers, which could actually be uh, of the utmost importance later in the game. We'll continue moving on this way. Oh my god, Lust has my face on it. This is dream come true. Uh, why am I even, like, I should just stand, like, right here and just fire continuously at these guys. This should be easy enough, then. Second level cube of meat doing some offensive work. Golden Chest has the Devil card. Very nice card, probably more important than the Lovers. Uh, what about this pill? Luck up, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with the Devil card instead of uh, the Lover's card. And what is this pill? Do we know? Bad trip. That's like a full health pill? Uh, yeah, well, you know, we'll keep that instead of um, the Devil. The Devil card's really, really great, but um, is it... Here's the thing, it's a damage upgrade, essentially. Uh, is it going to allow us to do more damage than having one extra, like, entire life in terms of our Red Hearts? Almost certainly not, right? So, I think that's how I got to deal with that situation, even though I do tend to trend towards offensive items. Uh, this is obviously going pretty well so far. Thankfully, we, we have had a ton of bombs over the course of this, and we'll probably still have like at least 15 bombs left over by the end of this fight, because Mom's about to go into permanent uh, bomb-throwing territory. We didn't even have to deal with Chubb, which is actually kind of surprising here. Since we can fly, I don't have to worry about the creep, and uh, this has actually been a very, very easy Mom's hard boss fight. That's already over. Time for us to go up to the cathedral. Please not curse of blindness. Good, 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 good. Okay. For two bombs, we can skip three rooms, which is a very nice trade in the cathedral. Uh, Unicorn Horn is an item that exists, and I'm not going to take it, but I'm happy it's there. Uh, Book of Belial is just too much more valuable for us in this situation. Uh, these guys are not a major concern, and at, at this point, I'm like, you know, it's looking pretty likely that we're going to be able to beat uh, the cathedral so the chest becomes uh, of the utmost importance. That's a lot of red hearts that hopefully I'll be able to use one day. Don't really want to deal with that mob trap room for no reason. Uh, we're not going to have the opportunity to bust up any uh, extra Book of Belial charges here. Just not necessary. Uh, we'd have to go to like extra rooms to get it charged. Obviously, Book of Belial is a major part of my strategy when it comes to dealing with these late game bosses. This golden chest gives us a golden key. Uh, which doesn't really do anything for us. It would actually be nice if Golden Keys actually gave you, like, one extra key as well. Just to, I guess, just to make them even more OP than they already are. But, uh, this has been a really good cathedral so far. Another golden chest. That didn't cost us anything to open it, so I'm glad we did. Time to go to work on, uh, Isaac then. And remember, we do have a one-up. But, uh, if we're getting close to winning, I would rather use the full health pill here. Just to preserve the fact that we don't have to go fight him again. And possibly, like, lose one entire life for no reason. You know, we do have one orbital here. We're not firing crazy quickly, which is actually really good, and our shots are going to do a decent amount of damage, uh, which is going to make it possible for us to take him out a little bit more easily than usual. I do have Poison Touch, so every time I get hit, I'm going to do my best to get in there and poison him before uh, my invincibility period runs out. This is actually going even better than I expected, in all honesty. Uh, so, yet yeah, the poison damage is doing some good work. I've been hit three times, which is not that bad. 
And I think we may actually have a, a truly legitimate shot uh, at winning this one, which is pretty nuts considering the amount of... Uh, did I really not poison him there? It's pretty nuts considering the amount of item rooms and shops I missed in the early game. Uh, I am now starting to take a little bit more damage. It's okay, though. I am, okay, I might, might have been a little uh, optimistic to say we had a pretty good chance of winning. We have a very good chance of beating Isaac, obviously, but I think our, our chances of beating uh, the entire game are going to hinge a little bit on what we get on the chest. We're very much on the borderline of what I would consider a winnable run, but we'll see. Um, Ten extra bombs. Three dollar bill. That could be interesting. Razor blade and game kid. Okay. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Three dollar bill is going to be super weird. Uh, because if we get like Ipecac on the final boss, that would be amazing. Razor Blade will be interesting as well. I don't know how we could... I, I want, obviously, I want to roll with Book of the Lao. But I'm going to use the Game Kid just for like one room here. Basically, just to give us uh, extra health. Please tell me we can kill one of these bosses. Alright, well, we did. We, we picked up a little bit of extra health. And we did put ourselves in, in Polaroid Invincibility range as well. Um, so we'll just hopefully continue with that. Uh, I don't think... Like, having Book of the Lao wouldn't have saved me on this room anyway. It wouldn't have saved me from taking damage. So I think this was the smart idea. Uh... Cool, more extra bombs as well. Razor blade, like I could hurt myself with a ton and then uh, go back up to full health, but I don't think that's the proper way to deal with this right now in all honesty. Okay, if we go this way, we got one, two. If we go this way, we got one, two, three. All right, so it is up. Oh, okay, it's, it's in our best interest to bomb our way into the secret room. Oh, but you can't bomb your way out of the room in the chest. Okay, so we have to go, we have to go the old fashioned way here. Should probably deal with Famine first, just because he's much, much easier. Uh, and our damage is good enough that uh, it shouldn't be much of a challenge. Can still easily take damage here, but it's always nice to take out to, oh, the harder enemy first, just to simplify your life. There we go. Now we're just fighting war, and that's not so bad. Should, oh my god, great uh, brownie in motion there on those bombs. He's a very lucky dog. Alright, so he should go into his permanent, like, walking state pretty soon. I almost got hit there. Not the greatest items on, on the shop, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, or sorry, not on the shop, on the chest, I'll, I'll definitely concede that point, but uh, it could be worse, you know. That Celtic Cross could be interesting as well. Uh, we'll continue moving on here. Basically the same room as the last one. We'll take out uh, Pestilence first. And if we only if we only have full health when we go into this Isaac fight, or sorry, Blue Baby fight, let's be honest, it's basically the same thing. Uh, if we only have full health, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that. I really think we need like the amount of health that we have right now, plus that brief period of permanent Polaroid invincibility that'll come with it. Um, thank you very much, Celtic Cross, there for allowing me to do that and get really up in uh, Death's face there. Let's speed things up a little bit. But yeah, I think we need like the extra health that I have right now, then the bad trip pill, which would become full health, and we'll find ourselves in a better position. But if we win this one, this will be a pretty textbook example of how like one pill can basically save your entire run. Alright, so obviously, this is one of my probably least favorite room combinations that you can possibly run into. Uh, especially in the very late game where uh, things are very much touch and go. Mind you, okay, we got hit, but we have permanent polar invincibility, so... This is unfortunate. Because I have to pop the full health pill now. There, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't just walk in there, I think. So we'll do it this way. Um, it's going to be a very tough fight. I don't think we're going to succeed here, but at the very least, we did better than our, um, our previous runs. And we did it... Uh, with less items, which is kind of... Oh my god, did you see how long that purple shot followed me? I got very lucky that I didn't get hit by it. Um, $3 bill, I was really hoping it would come up with Ipecac or... Uh, what would be the other option that would be great? If, if we had the teeth here, maybe it would be a little bit more plausible. We're not sunk yet. It's just a... It's tough to imagine me winning this one. And that's fine. Um, I, I should just spend some time dropping in homing bombs. Take him down a little bit without really risking our own lives too much. We should never get that close to him. I'm just never sure how much uh, leeway I have with homing bombs. Like, obviously, that's not enough. Uh, that Just shoot him in a little bit, and I guess that works a little bit better. This might actually allow us... Oh, that's the worst. Please, Celtic Cross, look me up here. This might actually allow us a slightly better chance. Celtic Cross didn't give me any extra invincibility. So I think we're in a very bad position right now. Obviously, one more hit will kill us. He doesn't drop beams of light from heaven, I guess. Um, if only I was one-shotting angel fetuses, I would feel a lot more confident. Oh, you know, we do have one more extra life, but I don't have Book of Belial anymore. Oh, this is not good. I probably should have charged up Book of Belial, but... Um, okay, well, let's, let's start this one 
exactly the way that I that I wanted to. Is invincibility wearing off? No, now it's wearing off. Okay, okay, okay. It's cool. Oh my god, I got hit again in the worst way possible. I really can't afford to do that if I'm gonna have any chance of winning here. So we gotta just relax a little bit, start throwing in these homing bombs, and just do like a circular dodge. Oh, it's the worst. I I'm gonna die. But I, I gave it the old college try. I tried a few differential strategies here. Um, got Blue Baby down halfway twice, and if I, I think if I had that little extra health, if I hadn't taken that hit against Gertie Jr., uh, it, it would have been possible, but as of right now, uh, I don't think it is possible. But, fun run nonetheless. You know, we're not totally, I was gonna say we're not totally dead yet. Now we are, probably shouldn't have been that close, but I tried. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving your support in the form of a like or a positive comment or a negative comment telling me that I missed an item room, even though I didn't have keys. Maybe I did miss a legitimate item room, who knows? As always though, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Big thanks again to Elucidator for the mod, and I will see you next time.